Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing some products I got off the Wish. Um, I got these markers, it's watercolor pens from Wind Duo. I don't know if you can see that, it's barely on there. And I have these metallic color pencils from Boos, I guess? I don't know. Um, a marker pad, a paper from whoever that is. I don't know, I can pronounce that. I can barely tell. Um, gel pens, which are just ridiculous. I know there would supposed to just be gel pens on that. Um, an engraver, and an electric eraser. So, let's get into it. Okay, first of all, we have the marker paper, and we're gonna use these markers to see if they kind of bleed through. Let me get the black one. Outline it. Okay. I just drew like little simple shapes on there. Oh, I like that color red though. that one. Just kind of layering it on. Oh, the nibs tears that. I don't know if you can tear, see that. Or is that the paper coming off? No. The nib's fine. It's the paper. Um, I mean, the colors are pretty. If that counts. These kind of just feels like Crayola markers. They're not really that great, but they're not that bad. I tried to scribble those on. Um, now let's lay down some copics onto this paper and see how it looks. We'll go with the dark color because we want to see if it bleeds through. <laughs> It lays on pretty good with the Copics. It's not that bad. I wonder if we can blend on this paper. Let's find out. This is not really bad at all. With the Copics, the other markers kind of suck. We're just going to use this darker color too. Okay, not that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, it could be better, but I mean, it was only like $2 for this pad of paper, so. I mean. <clears throat> so let's see if they bleed through. Um, a little bit. So I guess just put something under there if you want to use this paper. I wouldn't use it, but. And we have the electric pen. So let's see if this works. Oh, it works pretty good. Hmm. It kind of stops when you put it down to the paper. You have to like barely touch it. That's all right. Um, I think I spoke too soon. It's starting to suck. I don't know if I'm just pressing too hard, but I try to barely do it, but then. It's all right. I think it was a dollar, so it does fine. I wonder if you can erase this whole thing. I mean, as soon as I put it down to the paper, it kind of like, stops it. Hmm. 
Anyways, eh, it's, it's fine, it's all right. Now, the little gel pens. But they're actually refills, not actually gel pens. Well, they are gel pens, just the inside of them are the whole gel pen. This one's blue and it's sparkly. Oh, I like that. Okay. See about this neon yellow color. Oh yeah, I like these. I really do. I just wish Davis actually had a container. So I guess you can find like the old big pins, take them out, and then pop these in. Yeah, these are actually pretty nice. I like them. Gel pens didn't leak through. So, let's start with this pad of paper. Now let's try the markers on this paper. I don't know why I drew both. I don't need both of them. Uh, it's just, ugh, there's a marker on this one. Oh, that's pretty on this one. It's... Mm hmm. I'm just laying down the color. I wonder if we can blend these with... Hold on, let me get some color down. I mean, it looks, it looks all right on this paper. I mean, it looks like a cheap marker, which is what it is, but... You know, it's better than my expectations that I had for it. Done on color. Nothing too special. Yeah. What I want to really try is to get my colorless blender. I'm probably going to ruin this. Oops, my bad. Oh, it's actually changing that purple to a pink. <laughs> okay, it looks like a hot pink now. So we can do that. Okay. So it does to the red. And it doesn't really blend the colors, which is not what it's supposed to do anyways. But it turns the purple into a pink. So, I about forgot about the colored pencils. Blue's metallic. Oh, I like these. Those are nice. Let's see what they do on this paper first. Okay, it's just like a colored pencil on regular paper. Turquoise. The colorless blender on this now. And it does nothing. Like I thought. These are alright. I mean, colored pencils, they do what colored pencils do. So this was a decent buy. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we have is this engraver. And 
it takes two AA batteries and we're just going to put our initials on this little plastic pencil case. It might be loud. Hmm. You see that? So this works. I mean, it's loud and it sounds like you're at the dentist, but it works. Let's try this little plastic ruler that got some paint on it. <laughs> oh. So that works. <laughs> oh, I like this. So overall, I would say the paper, don't really waste your money on it. Um, this was a good buy. I like the color pencils. I like the uh, engraver. Um, the markers, don't waste your money on it. And all the freaking gel pens in the world which I think is a good buy, but they should have said that it was refills and not just um, the inner part. I don't really know what you call them, but yeah. So that's my review on the Wish app art products. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys Friday with an art video. Bye. And I about forgot to mention the electric razor. Um, it's alright, but I wouldn't waste my money on it because as soon as you pretty much barely touch the paper, it stops. So, I don't think it does that great. Um, I mean, it's cheap, but you can probably get a better deal, one that actually works, but it's not a better deal. It's more expensive, but it would actually work. So, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.